Hey, how's it going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how you can improve your FPS and get better performance in Doom The Dark Ages dropped recently. This guide is going to be covering all of the best windows as well as game settings so make sure to stick around till the end of this video to optimize your performance and with all that said, let's get started with the intro. Number one is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC and once you're over here what you guys have to do is simply go down to personalization, head over to colors and turn off transparency effects. It is really essential because it helps your PC to improve your performance by a little bit while you're playing your games. After that head down to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. Since it is an overlay service, it consumes your system resources while you're playing your games. After that go back to gaming, head over to game mode and turn this thing on, it will help you to optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background and it helps you to save your computation resources. After that click on the graphics button over here and enable optimizations for windowed games as it will utilize advanced features in compatible games to improve input latency. After that click on the advanced graphics settings and enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling because it will utilize your graphic card to handle all kind of rendering related tasks. After that you will find a list of all of the apps and games on your PC. What you guys have to do over here is right click on on your game and then head over to manage click on browse local files until you are in the game directory copy this path come back here and then click on the add desktop app button now you have to paste this path over here and then click on doom the dark ages dot exe and even i have to click on the add button once that is added scroll a bit down until you find it and then click on that and for the gpu preference select high performance so it utilizes your graphic cards to render the game after that simply close your settings next step is heading back to the same download location and doing the compatibility settings what you guys have to do is right click on your exe file and then click on the properties button then head over to compatibility and click on disable full screen optimizations also click on change high dpi settings and select this option click on ok and then apply in case you are using frame generation to improve your fps this will help you to get rid of any kind of input latency after that simply close this next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc and right over here scroll a bit down until you find your local disk c click on the create button and name it doom just so you can remember it i highly recommend you guys now to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss once that is done simply click on the close button and then click on ok next step is a doom the dark ages fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you guys can find in five simple folders over here which are really important the first one is helping you with improving your cpu priority again i have left amd and intel cpu files over here so if you guys have an intel cpu like me you can double click and apply the intel cpu priority or if you guys have an amd cpu you can double click and apply the amd cpu priority this will help you to set up the correct dword values for your process to improve the performance. Second one is RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of registries over here. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to apply this registry. It could be different for you so you can apply it from the list for your PC and if that doesn't work out well for you guys you can reset it back to default using this one. Third one is Doom optimization in which I have left the high priority file for your game which will allow your game to consume more resources and improve FPS right away. You can simply double click to apply this registry. Heading back to the fourth folder which is disable unwanted services where I have left a ton of services which are really useless and disabling them can boost your FPS drastically. Once again if you use any Bluetooth or printer services leave these two services as it is and disable every single one of them in this list. This will help you get rid of them and at any point of life if you wanna get them back you can head over to the revert registries folder and simply apply them back. Last and not the least is the programs folder in which I have left these three very useful programs. The first one is clean temporary files dot bat you wanna have to right click and run it as administrator. This is a super useful program what you guys have to do is simply press enter and this will start deleting all temporary files right off your PC. I would highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then because your system generates temporary files which can cause performance issues. Simply close it. Next is MSI mode utility 3.0 simply right click and run it as administrator. This simple software allows your graphic card to handle higher interrupts without overclocking it. And to do that simply locate your graphic card and then ensure that the MSI button next to it is checked. For the interrupt priority select high and then click on apply and close it. That is how you set up the high priority for your graphic card. Next is quick CPU and this is a setup file you have to install and open this application up. Now once it opens up it should look like this which might be appearing a bit complex to all of you guys but don't worry. What you guys have to do is click on the max performance button over here and then click on the accept button. Click on ok and then ensure that all of these parking and scaling indexes are set up to 100%. Click on the apply button and then click on ok and close this. This will ensure that it disables core parking 
working on your PC and allow your system to draw more power. Note that if you're on a laptop, this might cause heating issues, but that will be utilizing it for increasing the frames. After that, simply close the FPS pack. Next step is disabling background applications on your PC and for that, simply search for group policy editor on your PC and then open edit group policy. If this option is not visible to you guys, make sure that you have Windows 11 Pro Edition installed on your PC. Once you're over here, head over to computer configuration, then administrative templates, Windows components and app privacy. Right over here, you'll find something called let Windows apps run in the background, which should be set to enable. This enabled is a policy and it will ensure that this policy is enforced in the background. After that, for the policy, you guys have to set this thing to force deny and then click on the apply button and this will disallow all of the applications and employees running in the background, allowing you to save a lot of system resources. Once that is done, simply close it. Next step is disabling unwanted startup applications and for that, simply press control, shift and escape all together and this will open up task manager right on your PC. Head over to the fourth tab over here and this will open up startup apps. What you guys have to do is disable as many startup applications as you guys can which you do not use which will help you to drastically improve the performance of your PC and not just that, it will also help you to reduce the BIOS time that is your booting time right away. To disable any application, simply right click on any enabled application and click on the disable button and this will disable that application. In this case, you're only turning any applications you need on anytime you need that. In this case, your system boots with less number of applications running in the background and you only have those applications enabled which you frequently use. The rest all of the applications are on demand. This will help you to boost your system's resources drastically. After that, simply close it. Next step is uh, the best in-game settings and for that, simply open up your game. All right, once you're in the game, press your escape key and then head down to settings. Right over here, you have to come down to this panel that is your graphic settings and for the window mode, go with the windowed borderless or full screen. Both of them will help you to get extra performance and windows borderless is used if you wanna enable frame generation. Monitor, you guys can go with default. Aspect ratio, go with your native aspect ratio and your native resolution. Refresh rate should be set to the highest available for your monitor and vSync should be set to off. Present from compute should be set to on and resolution scaling mode should be disabled if you use any upscaling method which you're gonna be setting up later. Scroll down and FOV, you guys can reduce it all the way now down to 90 to gain extra performance. For chromatic aberration, keep it on and depth of field, keep it off. For sharpening, go with 1.5 and filming green i have gone with 1.0 for the upscaler you guys can go with dlss if you have an nvidia graphic card or go with amd fsr if you guys have an amd based graphic card for the dlss super resolution you guys can go with quality balance or performance according to your pc i have a relatively good graphic card so i can go with quality right over here and the sharpness is set to 50 right over here if you guys can see dlss frame generation option you guys can turn this thing on for what i know this option is only available for rtx 40 series graphic card and above so if you guys have that congratulations you guys can go for that nvidia reflex mode go with boost if you have this available hdr turn it off gamma you guys can set it according to your monitor motion blur off and then for the advanced settings overall quality slider you guys can go with medium over here and then for the texture pool size go with 1536 do not go with 2048 because it consumes higher vram you need to ensure that your vram is utilized as low as possible to increase the fps but however it can also lead to quality drops for the shadow quality go with low reflections quality low light quality medium particle quality low decal quality low water quality low volumetric quality low anything related to volumetrics you're gonna have to turn it down to low texture filtering quality go with high geometric quality medium shading quality low and directional occlusion off once that is done press your r key to apply these settings and now you guys can drop into the game with the highest fps available so guys that was it for this video i hope i could have helped you out if i could have make sure to leave a like and smash it subscribe button because we are really close to 250,000 subscribers. I trust you all and we'll see you in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.